So Duelist Sparring Armor is a new PvP armor that came out in NA with the August 18th patch. You can equip this armor at any level. This armor is bank shareable. This armor is character specific. The armor has a following fixed effect for each piece. The armor has a following set effects as well. You can obtain the armor from completing the epic quest PvP Camilla's Training for a Champion equipment. This quest is per character. You get this quest when you reach level 75. When you complete the quest, you will get a Camilla's Duelist Support Cube. This cube is bank shareable. When you open the cube, you will get plus 9 4 4 armor for your character. Alternatively, you can buy the armor from Camilla with ED and AP, but it comes as plus 0, so it is recommended to do the epic quest to obtain the armor. Camilla can be found in any village. AP is currency you get mainly from doing arena matches. The Duelist Sparring Armor gets the following effects when you reach certain enhancement levels. The Duelist Sparring Armor you get from the Epic Quest comes plus 9. This is already pretty solid, so you don't need to enhance it higher unless you want to. If you do want to enhance it higher than plus 9, you would enhance it the same way you would for other equipment. If you do plan to enhance equipment, I would recommend prioritizing the gloves, then top piece, then bottom piece, then shoes. This can change depending on your preferences, etc. Because this armor is so easy to obtain and is bank shareable, you can farm this armor by getting it on other characters and or making new characters to get the armor, opening it on the character you want it on, and moving it to your blacksmith if you need to and or want to, and trying to enhance the plus 10. Keep in mind this will most likely take you many tries as it is only a 1% chance of getting to plus 10 from plus 9. I got this plus 10 glove today and it took me around 50 plus pieces to get it, so it does take a bit of patience. Generally, to wedge armor in Elsword, you need to use an Ancient Guardian wedge. However, for Duelist Sparring Armor, if you want an extra socket, you need to use a Sparring Wedge on the armor. These can be bought from Camilla with AP. In order to purchase these wedges from Camilla, you must be A rank or higher. Alternatively, you can buy the wedges off the board from other players. Once you have wedged your Duelist Sparring Armor, you want to socket it. You socket Duelist Sparring Armor the same way you would socket any other armor in the game for PvP. To specialize your armor, go to Camilla. In order to specialize, you need Sparring Specialized Stones. These stones can be obtained by exchanging Duelists' coins to Camilla. Duelists' coins can be obtained mainly from the daily PvP quest. This quest is per character. The coins can be bank shared. You can AFK an arena on multiple characters to farm the coins and then bank share them to the character you want them on. You can also get them from the weekly PvP quest. This is the weekly PvP quest. When you specialize, you pick the effect you want and then apply it at the cost of AP and Sparring Specialized Stones. Now I want to go over the basic support and skill effects that are recommended. The stats you can get by specializing your armor are not nerfed in PvP. Normally stats like Critical Damage, All Skill Damage, MP Cost Reduction, and Skill Cooldown are nerfed by 40% in PvP. For basic, you want critical damage. Critical damage generally gives higher damage output mainly because the critical damage you get from specialized is not nerfed in PvP and all other forms of critical damage you get is nerfed by 40% in PvP. In addition to this, there are generally a lot of other places to get physical or magical attack power percent from. Command damage and all skill damage give more damage output than critical damage assuming you only use command damage or skills. However, most players use a mix of commands and skills, so critical damage is a better balanced stat to go for. For support, you either want to go with HP increase or MP cost reduction. For recommendations on which skill to pick for your class, please refer to the Google Spreadsheets linked in the description. Once you click on that, you go to the purple PvP skills tab, and then you go to your character, go to your class, and the recommendations are there. So for Rage Hearts, you generally want Devastating Strike. When you add an effect, it will have a percent. You can increase this percent by clicking on the percent and enchanting it at the cost of Gel Matis, Fragments, and AP. When you enchant, you have a chance of going up by a random percent or having no change at all. Gel Matis Fragments can mainly be obtained by doing arena matches. You can also get them from the weekly PvP quest. You can also buy them from Camilla with ED and AP. If you do plan to buy Gel Mantis Fragments, it is better to farm AP on an alt and buy it on an alt and save the AP on your main for specialized, etc. costs. On the screen right now is a table with a max possible percent for each stat. So one thing to keep in mind is if you get a near max value, it may be easier to reslot the effect and try again. You have a better chance of hitting the max value by jumping from let's say the 4th highest value than reaching the max value from the 2nd highest value. Okay, so for example, if you have a higher percent, like this one right here, you can just switch to whatever 
and then switch back to the one you want and then try enhancing again. Duelist Sparring Armor is better than Elrianote Armor. While Duelist Sparring Armor is bank shareable, it is character specific, while Elrianote Armor is bank shareable and usable on all your characters. It can be worth investing in a PvP Elrianote Armor set as a placeholder for characters or classes you aren't super invested in PvP on. PvP Rigamore Armor is more tanky than Duelist Sparring Armor, and Duelist Sparring Armor provides more damage than PvP Rigal Armor. Generally, you'd want to run 2 out of 4 Rigomore Armor and 2 out of 4 Duelist Sparring Armor to have more balance. If you do choose to do this, make sure the gloves is a Duelist Sparring Armor glove. The fixed effect on the PvP Rigomore Armor glove is not applicable in PvP. For Rigomore Armor, reforging the top piece and reforging the gloves will boost your physical attack, while reforging your bottom piece and reforging your shoes will increase your magical attack. Because of this, if you are a magical class, you want to run Rigomore bottom piece and shoes and do less sparring gloves and top piece. If you are a physical class, you want to make sure one of your Rigomore pieces is a top piece. However, Rigomore armor is insanely expensive to invest in, so unless you already have PvP Rigomore armor, I would highly recommend running 4 out of 4 duelist sparring armor instead, even though 2 out of 4 Rigomore plus 2 out of 4 duelist is more balanced. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.